the most serious side effects of diabetes ignored by most diabetics. Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist. Today, we are going to talk about something that most people don't want to think about. Eh, it's human nature, right? Yes, it's not a friendly topic, but hear me out. This is very important for you to know. Before you run away screaming, let's have a chat about something that might surprise you, the link between diabetes and cancer. Most people think diabetes is just a high blood sugars and da 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 da, but it's not the case. I have a lot of diabetic patients that I hear all the time. They come back, next thing I hear, they have a cancer. They either die from a heart attack or stroke, or they have a heart attack or stroke, they end up with cancer, one of these two. It's rare actually for my patients to have like kidney failure, or to lose their eyesight, or to lose their feet, and stuff like that. It's rare, you know, we treat those, but something that I cannot help with is the cancer. Well, I can help it, but not necessarily in the immediate short term. So we'll talk about what to do about these facts. In fact, studies have shown that diabetics have twice the risk of developing cancer compared to non-diabetics, at least twice, if not more. But don't panic just yet because I've got some good news for you. So let's talk about metformin and berberine. There's a connection. You see, these are two popular things. One is a drug, one is a holistic supplement. They help with diabetes. They're not miracle workers, you know, but they help, right? And as it turns out, both of these things, metformin and berberine, they have a pretty cool side effect. Well, what is that? Side effect is not always bad, right? It, they can help reduce the risk of developing certain types of cancer. But here's where things get interesting. While the metformin, which a lot of you have been taking, has been shown to have a protective effect against cancer, this benefits seems to diminish over five years. So if you have been on metformin for five years, that protection goes away. On the other hand, the berberine keeps on working its magic even after five years. But let's not forget about the star player here, the hydroberberine, which is most of you are getting the sugar MB super berberine, right? That has the hydroberberine, or we call it the HB for short, it's a more potent version of regular berberine, more absorbable and less side effects. Not only does it have the same cancer protecting effect as berberine, the dehydroberberine, but it also has other benefits, you know, like a lot of you say that their, your blood sugar improves, your, your feel better, your inflammation goes down, right? So it's a triple treat. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're a diabetic taking metformin or berberine or dehydroberberine, right, superberberine, you're already on the right track to reducing your cancer risk. But if you really want to up your game, you better consider Ceylon cinnamon and dehydroberberine in your routine. Trust me, it is a game changer. I'm not saying that it's going to reduce your cancer risk by 90%, but it definitely will do something to help you to reduce that risk. Because studies show that, you can look it up. You don't believe me, you look it up to PubMed, do the pubmed.com, put the berberine, dehydroberberine, put the, the cancer word in there, and then look all the studies. So if you want to nerd out here a little bit, I can talk about why berberine is a superhero that uh, we never knew that we needed. Now picture this, berberine swoops into your body, scanning for those pesky free radicals. I'm going to make the scientific world a little more in the layman term, okay? Think of these uh, radicals as the villains in your story, in this story. And it scavenges these baddies, neutralizing them, the, the berberine and the hydroberberine, neutralizing these bad guys before they do any harm. But the berberine does even more. Then it moves into to induce apoptosis, which is a fancy term for cellular suicide. Well, why do you want a suicide, right? Well, basically, it convinces the bad guys, in this case, the potential cancer cells, or the cells that are potentially going to be cancer, to just tell them, you know, just call it quits, you know? It's like police just trying to catch someone right before they make a crime and say, hey, drop down your weapon and uh, turn around, right? How cool is that? If 
that's not enough. Berberine also pulls the handbrake on cell division and inhibits angiogenesis. See, every cell in your body divides and multiplies, right? Sometimes that system is broken and suddenly cells start multiplying a bunch of times and unstoppable. Well, that's called cancer. What is angiogenesis? Angiogenesis is the vascular system that goes to these cells, the multiplied cells. Like you're creating a new city, what do you have to do? You have to make new roads so people can go to that. You make a new community, you have to make roads so people can go in there. These cancer cells are smart. They make their own highways to get the nutrients sucked out of your body. Well, berberine and dehydroberberine is there to say, no, 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 you don't have the permit. You're not getting there. You're not building that. If you're building that, we're not going to give you a road. You're not going to be able to sell those houses. Bam. So stopping the bad guys on their tracks, cutting off their power supply. It's like a superhero with a utility belt full of tricks, stopping the inflammation and messing with all sorts of complex pathways. Do you want to be more scientific? Well, I'll tell you, PI3K or AKT slash mTOR pathways or WNT slash beta catenin or the MAPK forward slash ERK signaling pathways. These are all on the screen and check them out. If you're really nerdy and want to learn about the science behind all this, you're going to find that all are on the website on, on Google. Now, some of the articles you will have to pay to read them, but I think that a small price to pay, the knowledge is golden, right? In simple terms, berberine is like that friend who always has your back, taking on anything that threatens your well-being. Now, we also have regular berberine on our website, right? On sugarmds.com, a lot of people take sugarmd super berberine along with the berberine for even better results, and they do it, and it works great together. So, anyways, if diabetes was a comic book, berberine would be your friendly neighborhood superhero. Now, who's ready to join the Berberine Club, right? It is not just about lowering your blood sugar, folks. Forget that. It is not just about the blood sugars. People get hung up on that idea. It is not just about blood sugars. It's about making you having a long, healthy life while still having the diabetes. Who cares if your A1C is 5% but you die from cancer, right? It's not the good end result. That's why we have the sugar and supplements. Now, why would you buy sugar MD supplements instead of some random brand from Amazon? A lot of people I see those brands that are selling on Amazon. I'll tell you some secrets about them because I've been in this business long enough. So here's a good spin for you, a tale. Picture this. On one hand, you have the sugar MD, a brand devoutly overseen by an endocrinologist, a person who has gone to school for like a zillion years just to understand how body works, how everything works, right? Well, this endocrinology wizard ensures that we are always picking the top-notch suppliers for our ingredients. Why? Because we believe in quality over everything. And if we have a supplier who's not giving us good product, we just drop them, right? Even if it means spending more, we test everything now in highest quality labs for every product. On the other hand, we've got those guys, you know, the ones selling products at a lower price point on Amazon. It is a very competitive marketplace. And when I talk to suppliers, hey, you know, you're selling these quality supplements such a high price, but we cannot sell these on Amazon because, you know, we have no profit margin. Well, they will say, well, those people that sell on Amazon, we sell them too. We just reduce the quality of the product so they can get to the price point they want. Is that really what you want? Is that really your health is about? Like saving a couple dollars to yourself and getting the cheap stuff? It never, like in life, it never works that way, believe me. I know people want to be on a budget. They, wanna, they don't want to spend above a certain amount of money. But believe me, we are spending money on so many things that are unnecessary. If you cut back on those, you can invest in your health so much better. Again, like I said, these brands on Amazon, a lot of them cut corners. They dilute their products. And, you know, at the end of the day, they half the time, they don't know what they're doing. All their goal is to just sell stuff and make profit. And in our case, we have a mission and we have a vision. But at the end, the choice is clear. 
Go for the quality that comes with trust, expertise, and undiluted products. If we have a product that we find something in it, we have a recall process. We will recall the products if we think that there is anything or any minute thing in there that is not supposed to be there. We are extremely diligent. A lot of companies, they don't do that. You just take it thinking that everything is fine. And next thing you know, a lot of big companies will do recalls. Tesla did a reason recall, Toyota did a recall, some other big brands like Abbott made a recall. Those companies who care about their products and their customers, they will make a recall. That's not necessarily a bad thing. That means that even though there's no harm with the product, if they feel like it may not be the best product out there, they will recall it. That's it. You know, that's how good companies operate. So you don't want to gamble on your health, or would you? Well, stick with us at SugarMD because we are not just about providing just any supplements. We are providing you peace of mind. And that, my friend, the peace of mind is priceless. So there you have it, folks. While diabetes and cancer may not be the most fun topic to talk about, but knowing that there are ways to reduce your risk can bring some peace of mind. So don't let diabetes get you down and keep your spritz up. Thank you for watching. Visit SugarMDs.com. Please subscribe and share this video, and I'll see you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.